Hi everybody, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. But if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be the last and final update for my bite aligners. I realized I never made a final one when I was looking through my channel and I saw the six month update and I was like, oh, all right, let's make a quick two year update. We will just kind of talk about all the finishing touches and great things that happened with my teeth. Yeah, so let's get right into it. So where I left off with is I got continuation aligners and I think if I remember, they sent me like 20 and it was pretty insane. So I had a very much longer time of hanging out with these boys in my mouth. So I had to go through all of those and also on top of that, I got my wisdom teeth out. I also left off with, ooh, I'm gonna get my wisdom teeth out in a couple weeks. First of all, that was terrible. Second of all, I got them out. And third of all, it made the process go by a lot easier. I'm pretty sure that my wisdom teeth were just wildly in the way and causing my teeth to be stubborn. I think one of my updates, I talked about how I had a stubborn tooth. It was um, this one right here. It wasn't moving at all, but I had to get five teeth taken out, four of them being my wisdom teeth because I had such a crowded mouth. You know, apparently I have a tiny mouth. You wouldn't think so because I actually have a big mouth when I talk. Yeah, <laughs> I had to get um, those out and after that everything was pretty much smooth sailing from there. So now what I'm on is I'm on the retainers which I really only have to wear them at night. I noticed whenever I put them in at night they would be super tight and my first set of retainers I got ended up cracking because I think it was just so much pressure on them that when six months went past because every six Six months they send you a new pair of retainers they're not expecting you to you know stick it out your whole life with one pair i now wear them like all throughout the day whenever i remember i can i just wear them essentially just when i'm not eating and i'm gonna keep doing that until i feel i can take them out and wear them as actual retainers at night and it isn't like too much pressure uh if you know what i'm saying because when you wear typical braces you wear one set of braces for like or i don't really know how it works but i I know you wear them for a lot longer than how bite works where you wear one tray a week so i'm kind of treating it like braces now and i'm just sticking to wearing my retainers all day every day and i've noticed a huge difference in the days where i do forget to wear them when i go to put them in at night it's not as painful and tight as it was or like how they want me to do it so now i can show you what they look like out because i have them in right now This is what they look like out of my little stinky mouth. Everything looks pretty good, you know? Like, I only have a few complaints, but uh, especially my bottom teeth. My bottom teeth are perfect. Uh, they were pretty pretty messy when I started. They weren't looking too good. My top teeth were also pretty messy when I started, but there's some things, I just picked my nose. There's some things that they just like can't fix because I don't know, this is more of a cosmetic thing than like Invisalign or getting actual braces. And that's one thing you do have to know going into it if you are watching this and you don't have bite and you're thinking of getting bite. It's not going to completely straighten your teeth like Invisalign and braces can do. Um, it's mainly if you just have slightly crooked teeth, it's gonna fix that up for you, um, which was my personal issue is I just had some teeth that were like turned weird ways and sticking out of my mouth and I just didn't want that anymore, if I'm gonna be frank with you. That's my cat meowing because he's hungry. He's not starving, it is 4 p.m. Another thing I talked about in my previous video was my bite was really messed up on one side. On one side of my mouth, it was fine. Like my teeth were coming together the correct way. On the other side of my mouth, uh, it was like so weird. Like my teeth were coming together like this, if you know what I'm saying. It like was so uncomfortable. It was giving me jaw problems. When I talked to Bite about it, they were like, oh, well that's just because like the teeth are moving at different times. Sorry about that. And I was like, okay, but it did get fixed. Um, um, that was a huge thing that I was really worried about because like, you know, you can't fully close your mouth how you're supposed to. That's a little scary and it also just, I hate having jaw problems. I hated having a clicking jaw and a popping jaw and that's pretty much what happened uh, during the entirety of that. But then after I went through all my continuation aligners, um, that got fixed. My bite is fine. My dentist looked at it and he said, 
Another thing that um, I found kind of useless was the little vibrator they gave you, the hyperbite thing. I don't know, like, it was fun to chew on. I felt like a teething baby, but I'm gonna be honest, I feel like that did really nothing. Like, instead of wearing trays for like one week and then vibrating your teeth <laughs> like once a day, I feel like you should just wear the trays for longer, but I don't know, like I'm no scientist, but it just, it wasn't really doing anything. I think in the beginning I was telling myself it was, but like, I don't know, I just, I don't even know where it's at right now. Like, she's gone forever. She's in the void of my closets. So that is pretty much much like all of the main stuff I wanted to cover. So my final review that I'm going to end it with is I have a couple of complaints and a couple of positives. So the complaints are is it's just like a newer company. So I think they were just like, you know, kind of getting the hang of things. Like it was a little weird how my, um, what's it called? My bite was messed up. Um, if you remember in my last video, some of the liners were cutting off circulation in my gums because of like how the liners were shaped. So then I had to like cut them and file them and it was really annoying to do that and it wasn't just like cutting off the circulation by a little bit like it was fully like turning my gums black so that was like really scary and also like I don't know if this is necessarily a complaint but like it, it will kind of make it look like your um gums are receding but I also think that's just like for my teeth moving out because all my teeth were crowded they uh moved out some of my teeth so then when I smiled I didn't have like huge holes on the corners of my mouth you know what I'm saying so I think that was just for my teeth getting more pushed out um it looked like my gums were receding but they're fine and like I said that's another thing my dentist looked that and he was like yeah your gums are big chillin um the some of the positives is it's definitely the cheapest option is it like super cheap no girl sweetie pie i had to pay out the ass for these and i also made this as like a knee-jerk decision i was in a manic episode first of all and it was like 5 a.m and i couldn't sleep and i was like oh, i just want to have straighter teeth now boop and that sucked uh <laughs> paying for that paying for all of the mistakes i've made it ended up being kind of worth it in the end because i'm way more confident with my smile and my teeth i was very very embarrassed with how my teeth looked so there's that um and also like i said it's just like a little cosmetic thing you know like don't think too hard about it unless if you have like really messed up gums and i wouldn't like you know what i'm saying is like if you are expecting it to make your teeth absolutely perfect you're kind of setting yourself up for failure i was kind of expecting that in the beginning and then you know i kind of like thought about it a little more and grew up and i was like oh well you know like if it was this much cheaper than just getting braces everyone would be getting this brand but no there's a reason why it is the price that it is and the results that you're gonna get um but with all of that i think we can close this chapter on my channel of talking about my big dang teeth and what they are doing. My cats are throwing fits right now. Girl, stop. That, you're enough. She's biting my mirror. Can you see her? Enough. Oh my god, I put the camera on her and she said, who? Anyways, um, that is it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. I don't know if you can tell right now, but I am a very much baby channel. And um, I don't have a lot of subscribers, uh, so I would love to do this as a full-time job. So, you know, subscribe if you liked this video or if it was helpful. And if you don't feel like subscribing, just like the video. And if you don't feel like liking the video because you hated it, comment hey this sucked so i know um and that's gonna be it from me i'll let you guys take the floor and i will see you next week with a new video all right bye guys